businesses such as hospitals, airlines and banks say there have been no Y2K problems. Business reporter Mike Jaspers has been following the night's events. As the clock ticked over, quiet celebrations here. Emergency management staff keeping watch on what might go wrong. And at the Y2K command centre, more fireworks outside than inside. The lights are on out there, so I guess Wellington's in good shape. But a hiccup down south, generators called in as power briefly cut to thousands in Alexandra, though in the end, not Y2K gremlins. By 2am, testing by essential services all done. So what we have is, a, is after two hours now a continuation of continued uh, sound performance uh, by uh, New Zealand in managing their Y2K risk. It's three in the morning. I've just got some cash out. I've checked my balance. All my money is there. It seems the banking system is working OK. And just down the road here, petrol's flowing as normal. And inside, it's not just business as usual, it's far, far busier. The computer rolled over 01 January 2000. Um, 00 was the time and off we went. FPOS stayed on everything. A big relief for computer troubleshooters up all night and no sign of Y2K computer viruses. A major hurdle of passing through midnight has gone very quietly, which, which, is, which is excellent. Um, we just need to watch um, some other flashpoints. Some of our customers have, have, have turned their machines off and we know they're going to power on uh, during the first and some of them even on to the third. And no stress here at the BNZ's call centre. All systems working and extra staff not needed. It's a, one of the um, biggest fizzers around, so uh, we spent lots of money on a, on a big fizzer. A fizzer too for American television crews. Little to report, but not minding. This is perfect. A little rain, but that's all right. Overloading the only problem for the phone system. All the preparation and millions spent upgrading computers paying off for now. But we stress that it's so far so good. The Y2K problem is not just a problem that applies at the 1st of January. Problems could still emerge as more businesses return to work and switch on their computers. Mike Jaspers, One News. But with essential services looking trouble free, our Y2K Commission says it may close its command centre early. Across the Tasman, Australia's four biggest banks say they've not encountered any Y2K computer problems. And ANZ, which has extensive offshore operations, says there have been no major glitches all across the South Pacific. Japan and the Russian Far East also report no early problems as clocks clicked over into the new century.